I'm Amy and welcome or welcome back and it's time for another monthly haul. This one's a little bit smaller than normal but there's some really fun things in here and as always if you like anything from my haul today there will be Amazon affiliate links in the description down below if you want to purchase anything and if you do they are affiliate links so a small percentage will come back to me to help the channel. I also did an unboxing for pretty much everything in here. It is up on my Patreon if you wanna see a little bit more in detail of what everything is, different covers for some of the Blu-rays, things like that, plus a couple little Stranger Things bonus extra things that I unboxed that I will not be doing um showing on this haul and yeah let's get started with the book it's one that i probably will never read but i got it just because i have the other two and that is the screenplay of the secrets of dumbledore i am not a huge fan i like the cover but i'm not a huge fan of the spine because oh i can get the other two it doesn't match the other two at all so it looks a little bit out of place if I were to put them all together. I do kind of like the more bronze on the spine versus the gold on here. I think it looks nice, but I don't like the fact that they don't look like this anymore. And these have more of the same feel of the Fantastic Beast book covers for the actual Fantastic Beast little textbook thing that JK Rowling made to go with the actual books as like a small small little thing the very loose connection it has to the actual movies but there's this I don't think there's any like pictures or anything in it it's oh there are actually pictures I haven't this is like the first time I've actually opened it up But it really is just the screenplay. And I think it says on here there's commentary from the director, the writers, and a couple of the actors. So, yeah, there's The Secrets of Dumbledore screenplay. And next, I have a couple Blu-rays from work. The first is the 4K Red Dawn. This is the original 1984 Red Dawn. Not the newer one, I think, with like Josh Peck and Chris Hemsworth in it, I believe, if I'm remembering that correctly. But I really, really, I, I don't really, really love this movie, but I enjoyed this movie. I, I like this movie. So, yeah, 4K Red Dawn. I don't have a 4K player, but it does have the Blu-ray in it. The next are a couple more 4K editions with Blu-ray. One of them I already have the plain Blu-ray version. But I got the trio together, and that is the Child's Play. The first three Child's Play movies. I really like the first one, even though I was almost too scared to watch it because a doll coming to life is a nightmare. But I really like the first Child's Play. The second and third ones aren't too bad, but I only had the first one on Blu-ray and we released all three of them at work with a, I think a actual like Burton Chucky doll. It's really cool if you got that special package, but I wanted to get all three of them. And again, there are 4K and Blu-ray. I don't have a 4K player or a 4K TV, but I'll be able to watch them on Blu-ray. And then next is two things that I got from the Disney Movie Club and a double pack and that is Doctor Strange. It also came with this lithograph from Multiverse of Madness. And I think both of these editions will be available on Amazon. They are not anything special to Disney Movie Club. Usually they have special covers or something. But I think the only thing that was special with getting these from Disney Movie Club is I got them together for a cheaper price, which I think the price of the two of them together was just the regular price of the 4k of multiverse menace plus the lithograph but these are both 4k versions again everything i feel like is becoming 4k but they do have the blurries in it so i will be able to watch them i really love the o card on this it's embossed and it's very shiny but i really did love multiverse of madness 
so fun very scary entry because you know Sam Raimi it's not as scary as Sam Raimi probably could make it but scary for a Marvel movie and then the last one before I get to some criterions is the lost city blu-ray I love this movie so much I was so excited for it when they announced it especially because I love Brad Pitt and Daniel Radcliffe in this movie are doing the most insane performances and I love to see it. I love them just being absolutely bonkers and I know Brad Pitt's only in it for a little bit but Daniel Radcliffe has the villain. I was on board when I heard Daniel Radcliffe was the villain and then when I saw Brad Pitt in the trailer I was on board even more plus seeing the kind of weird age dynamic between Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum was interesting but I really love this movie if you have not watched it check it out for some just mindless fun it's just mindless fun it's a it's fun did I say it was fun next are some criterions that I got during the Barnes & Noble 50% off I'm trying to remember I think that was a while ago but I just got them and unboxed them last month so Double Indemnity is I love this movie I've only seen it one time but that, and that was a couple years ago and as soon as I saw it I, I fell in love with it and I've been waiting to get the Criterion they announced it a couple months ago and I put it on my list to get during the Barnes & Noble 50% off so absolutely love this movie if you have not seen it and you love film it's highly recommended next is la strada this is one that i watched for i think it was every month martin scorsese's what is it called it's he has this film restoration thing and they do a lot of restorations with, hold on, it's on here I think somewhere. Martin Scorsese's Film Foundation did a restoration of this, which is the restoration that is on this Blu-ray, I believe. They did a special screening of it before it went wide anywhere outside of just the Blu-ray. And I fell in love with the movie. I'm not a big Federico Fellini fan. The only other two films of his I've seen. One of them is his wife, which is this character right here. She's the main protagonist in that and I'm trying to remember Knights of Cabria was the one with her that I wasn't a huge fan of and then I'm not a huge fan of eight and a half either but I really adored this film and yeah it's really good it's really funny I, I can't even try to pronounce his wife's name Guleta Masiana I probably butchered that and I apologize she is incredible in this film she's hilarious it's yeah it's such a great film and then the last one is one that i think i just watched this on the criterion channel and fell in love with it. i don't think i watched it for 1001 or anything but that is ministry of fear it is really intense and what's the word i'm looking for you can see I'm doing this early in the morning and my brain has not got started yet. <laughs> Intense and thriller and if I just keep saying words, it'll probably come to me. Cliffhanger? No. Okay, I don't know what word I'm searching for, but it keeps you on the edge of your seat. That's a syllabic phrase <laughs> to the word I think I'm thinking of, but it's really great. I highly recommend giving this a watch if you have not seen it before. I will probably be watching this again soon. So that is everything. Let me know what you guys got this month in the comments down below. And of course, if you want to check out the Stranger Things unboxing that I did along with the unboxing of the rest of this stuff that will not be up on my YouTube channel, there's some pretty cool things that I unboxed over there. And I will be doing a, another unboxing with a couple other things up on there. I do that every month with everything that I put into my hauls plus so many other things if you 
want more content from me since I have only started doing like three videos, four videos on here a month versus like five or whatever. There is so much stuff on my Patreon and I highly recommend checking that out because we have fun over there. It's a fun time and you can get a lot of stuff for even just a single dollar or three dollars, whatever you want. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know who you are in the comments down below and let's be friends. If you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe if you're new because I love talking links, movies, TV shows, filmmaking, mystery, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.